This is one of the most, if not the most, terrifying pieces of technology mankind has seen in the last 100 plus years. So this is a quantum computer that Microsoft just released called the Mariana 1. I'll explain what a quantum computer is and how it works in a second here. But what makes this one so crazy is that it has a million qubits. Qubits are basically like the measure of how powerful the quantum computer is. Now what's scary about that number is in theory this one single chip has more computing power than all of the computing power we have in the world combined. Yep, you heard that right. Every single computer, cell phone, server we have in the world combined could not outcompute this thing. Understand why that's so bad and why it's not technically true yet? I'm gonna have to explain to you how quantum computers work. So a regular non-quantum computer speaks using the language one or zero, that's it. And then all a computer program is is just a chain of commands telling the computer what to do based on the previous value. So if this value equals one, output zero, one. If that value equals zero, one, output zero, and so on. Now the problem is if you wanted to check all the outputs of this program, you'd have to go down line by line because you only check zero or one. So you'd have to check the value if it's one, then go down this tree, then check it if it's zero and go down all of these trees and go down each and every single possible line and it takes ages. Now actual computer programs are actually trillions of lines of commands long. So even with a really powerful computer to compute each and every single one of these outcomes will take a really long time. Now with quantum computers, bits don't have to be zero or one. They are zero and one at the same time. And it checks the solution for both zero and one simultaneously. This means instead of having to go down the path of each individual solution, it could kind of just sweep down the whole array of solutions and just instantly output all of them. It's not even comparable how much faster it is. So that's how quantum computing works, but how are fast computers a threat to us? Well. It's because of these, prime numbers. So pretty much all encryption on the internet that's used for things like securing your Facebook passwords uses prime numbers as the way to do that. To overly simplify this, if you wanna prove that you own something like a password or an account, you basically take two really large prime numbers, multiply them by each other, then you put the solution out there to everybody. There's no mathematical way to work backwards from that big number what two prime numbers multiplied to make it. So this system is what pretty much all of our passwords are secured on. Anyway, super powerful quantum computers will have the ability to brute force and solve those equations. There's some huge implications for this level of encryption getting cracked. Cryptocurrency is another really big one. When people mine Bitcoin, they're literally just trying to find these numbers that multiply into one another. If a quantum computer powerful enough comes along, they literally just mine all the Bitcoin that's available. Like, I'm not joking. <laughs> anyway, although the hardware is technically there, we are a long way off from this being reality. Quantum computers are just incredibly unstable. Those bits are constantly trying to flip back and forth. So they need to be operated in some of the coldest temperatures in the universe to even have a chance at working. On top of that, actually writing code for them and giving the problems for them to solve is also like a super unknown art, but there are people working very hard on it and we're seeing the hardware. So I think we're gonna see some crazy stuff in the next few months. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. I'm by no means an expert on this stuff. So if I made any mistakes and you know a lot about it, please let me know more or correct me in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.